retired from athletics, was there any noticeable kind of shift in how you were eating or what you were eating, or are you still eating the same as, as, you, as you would have been when you were competing? No, it was a big shift. Um, kind of came, when it came to the end of my career, I I was struggling with injuries, and you know that affected my kind of mental attitude. Um, and I kind of stopped training. You know, I stopped exercising in general because I was just a bit fed up with things. Um, I didn't look after my diet at all. Um, I think from going quite, um, you know, looking after it so finely for the last almost five, six, seven years, um, I just, I just stopped, literally, uh, kind of looking after myself. And what really um, frightened me um, and surprised me was the way it affected uh, my attitude, the way it affected my uh, my manner. Um, I wasn't a nice person to be around, I had no kind of self-esteem, I lost a lot of confidence, um, and I just felt unfit and unhealthy. What's the biggest nutrition mistake you've ever made? Uh, did you ever, like I presume you never when you were younger, like had a can of coke and then tried to go out and run a race, did you? Or? Ah, you would have done that when you were a kid, you know, <laughs> when you're like under 10s and yeah. you're going up to Mead somewhere for cross country <laughs> and you're down the back of the bus eating like, sherbets and coke and then you're going why why did it run so bad